going to be describing the fa muscles of facial expression. And on this model, we can actually see many of the muscles, of, nearly all of the muscles of facial expressions. There are some of them that we can't see or they're kind of tucked away and they're not kind of stripped out. So but let's take a look at the sim most simplest ones. And we term these the ones that come and create what we call the epicranius. Now the epicranius is made up of three things. This muscle, which you call the frontalis. This one that is called the occipitalis. And then this white large sheet on the top of the head, which we call the gallia aponeurotica. So all this is considered the epicranius. So all three of those, they do help move your eyes. And then the next one, we get this kind of here, muscle fibers that kind of make slip in between the eyes, kind of right to the bridge of the nose. This would be called the proceris. Kind of pulls and sneers and makes your nose kind of flare out. And then we get this one that kind of surrounds the eye. This is called the orbicularis oculi. So orbicularis oculi, orbicularis means circular or rounded, 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 like it's orbiting. And then oculi over the eye. Right on the nose, we get this little strip-like muscle called the nasalis. And then you can see more of the nasalis here. All right. And then from here, we get two muscles that come from the zygomatic bone, this guy and this guy. This is the zygomaticus major. I always think it makes a major action, kind of makes you, pulls the angle of the mouth and makes you smile, while the zygomaticus minor kind of does the Elvis lip. And then next to it is what we call the levator labii superioris, kind of would come down here and then attach to the upper lip. Right next to it is this little slip of fibers coming down to the angle of the mouth. This would be the levator labii superioris. And if I follow these fibers down, this would be the depressor anguli oris as it pulls the angle of the mouth down. And then of course we get this muscle that uh, will pull the lip down, that would be called the depressor labii inferioris. And then around the mouth, just like orbicularis oculi, we get the orbicularis oris now, oris is oral mouth. And then a couple other ones, we get the buccinator as it's inside uh, the buccal cavity, this compresses the cheek. And then this little strip-like muscle called the rhizorius. So that's the rhizorius. And then lastly, we have this guy, the mentalis, muscles of the chin. All right. So let's fly through all these again. Frontalis, gallia aponeurotica, occipitalis, orbicularis oculi, rhizorius, nasalis, zygomaticus major, zygomaticus minor, levator labii superioris, levator anguli oris, le depressor anguli oris, leva depressor labii inferioris, mentalis, orbicularis oris, and rhizorius, that cuts straight across, and then buccinator.